guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about the factor theorem. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we are told whether or not each binomial is a factor of the given polynomial. So we have given three binomials, A, B, C, and we are told if this binomial is a factor of this polynomial. So we will be explaining that later on. Now by the way class, I will give more examples. So we do have two examples class. The next part of our video, we will be solving this one. So this will be the parts of our video class. I will just give more examples class for you to really understand how to solve the factor theorem. So in the part 2 class, we need to check if this binomial is a factor of this given polynomial. Alright, let's focus first in the part 1 class. Let's start. Now to check class, if this binomial is a factor of this given polynomial, you just need to evaluate class. What do you mean by evaluate, sir? You get the value of x of this given, okay, of this given binomial, and once you get x, you substitute the value of x from this given polynomial. So let's start with letter A. Now, once you substitute class and you solve, if the answer is 0, therefore, this binomial is a factor of this given polynomial. Now, once you, you solve and your answer is not 0, therefore, this is not a factor. So, that's the thing there, class. Very easy. So, just simply substitute the value of x from this given polynomial. Let's start with letter A. Alright, so our A, so x plus 1. So, to get the value of x, you equate the, this divisor class, this one. You equate this binomial into 0 to get the value of x. So, this will be x plus 1 equals 0. So, transpose, to get the value of x, transpose this one from left to right. And your x equals, so once again, once you transfer an, an equation or a number from this equal sign, you change the sign. So, x equals negative 1. So, for letter A class, x plus 1, you equate this one into 0, and your x is equals to negative 1. And once you get your x, you simply substitute this x from this given polynomial. So, let's write p of x equals 2x cubed minus 7x plus 5. So, this will be p of your x is negative 1. Once again, class, we are just answering letter A. So, p of negative 1, that would be 2. Then your x is negative 1. Simply substitute this value class from this given x. So negative 1, then cube, minus 7, then x is negative 1, plus 5. So this will be p of negative 1 equals, so once again class, always follow PEMDAS. Do not multiply 2 and negative 1, okay? It should be parenthesis exponent class. Always follow PEMDAS. Alright, so parenthesis, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So parenthesis, exponents comes first before multiplication. So do not multiply 2 and negative 1. It's just multiplication. It should be parenthesis, exponents. Alright, so negative 1 raised to the power of 3. Just simply copy 2 class. Negative 1 raised to the power of 3. What do you mean by that 1 class? So, negative 1 raised to the power of 3, it means you multiply this negative 1 by itself 3 times. So, this will be negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. So, negative 1 times negative 1, that's positive 1, times negative 1, that would be negative 1. So, just remember this one class. If a negative number raised to the power of an add number, your answer will be negative. If a negative number raised to the power of even number, your answer will be positive. Let's try class. Negative 1 raised to the power of 4. So negative, uh, negative number raised to the power of even number, your answer is always positive. Let's check. Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1. So negative times negative, this will be positive. Okay. Okay, negative 1 times negative 1, this will be positive 1. Times negative 1, this will be negative 1. Times negative 1, this will be positive 1. Or you can have this one class, for you not to be confused. Negative times negative, this will be positive. Negative times negative, this will be positive. Positive times positive is positive. So just remember this one class, for you not to be confused. If, okay, if a negative number raised to the power of an even number, your answer should be always positive. If a negative number raised to the power of add number, your answer will be always negative. 
So, this will be negative 1. Once again, negative 1 raised to the power of 3. It means negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. And your answer is negative 1. So, negative times negative is positive times negative. That would be negative. Alright, so this will be negative 1. Minus, or you can multiply this one plus. Okay, you can just simply multiply this one. Negative 7 times negative 1. So, negative times negative, that would be positive. 7 times 1 is 7, then plus 5. So, this will be P of negative 1 equals, so this will be 2 times negative 1, that is negative 2, plus 7, plus 5. So, there are some students that they are so confused with the unlike signs, adding integers. So, if you're confused, class, do not be worried, class. Just arrange. You can actually arrange this one. Positive comes first before negative. Okay, so let's, let's just arrange, class. So, negative... This will be positive 7 comes first. So, positive 7, then positive 5, minus 2. So, P of negative 1 equals, so 7 plus 5 is 12, minus 2, that is 10. Alright, so the answer is 10. So, once again, when you solve and your answer is not 0, therefore, this, okay, this binomial is not a factor of this given polynomial. Because this 10 class is the remainder. Do you, still, do you still remember class the remainder theorem? So if you want to learn more about remainder theorem, go ahead class. I have a link in the description down below with regards to remainder theorem. I do have four examples class of remainder theorem or many examples class of remainder theorem. Feel free to see the video class. Once again, if you're going to factor theorem, you will start first at the remainder theorem class. Then next will be the factor theorem. So once again, this 10 here will be the remainder. And since this is not 0, therefore, this x plus 1 is not a factor of this given polynomial. Alright, so this x plus 1 is not a factor. It's not a factor. Alright, so that's how you solve class. That's how you check if this given binomial is a factor or not. When you solve, if this is not 0, the answer is not 0, therefore, this is not a factor. Let's try letter B class. So you pause the video class. I will be raising this one. Let's try letter B. Easy, right? For the factor theorem. This is what we call class evaluating. You can actually check your answer class by synthetic division. You can always double check your answer class by synthetic division. So I know that you already know the synthetic division. But if not, I will also put the link class in the description down below with regards to synthetic division. But I'm sure class you already know how to solve synthetic division. Alright, so let's have letter B. So x minus 1. So once again, you equate your div binomial or your divisor into 0. So this will be x minus 1 equals 0. To get the value of x, you transpose this negative 1 from left to right. This is negative. You change the sign. It will be positive 1. So our x is positive 1. So let's solve. So this will be P of x. You write down the polynomial class. 2x cubed. Okay, 2x cubed. 2x cubed minus 7x plus 5. So once again, your x is positive 1. So P of positive 1 equals 2. Then your x is positive 1. Simply substitute class the value of x from this given polynomial. So x is positive 1. We're, we're actually solving class letter B. Minus 7 times x is positive 1 plus 5. So this will be P of positive 1 equals. So once again class, do not multiply 2 and 1 class. Be careful with this one class. Do not multiply 2 and 1. It should be parenthesis, then exponent. Parenthesis, exponent. So just simply copy 2. Then multiply by, what do you mean by 1 raised to the power of 3 class. So 1 raised to the power of 3, it means you multiply this 1 by itself 3 times. So 1 times 1 times 1. So 1 times 1 times 1, of course, that is 1. So 2 times 1. You simplify this 1 and the answer is 1. So simply copy the parenthesis because you need to multiply. Because we're just done with parenthesis exponent. Then negative 7 times 1, you can actually multiply. Or let's just copy class, negative 7 times 1, so that we can do the multiplication at once. So copy, plus 5. So this will be equals to P of 1 
Okay, you can actually write equal sign. Do not write P of 1. That's okay. Or you can go ahead, class. Write P of 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. Then negative 7 times 1. That's negative 7 plus 5. And this will be, so once again, many students will be confused with this one. You can actually subtract this one, class. Okay, let's have the two solutions, class. You can actually subtract this one, 2 minus 7. If the signs are not the same, we have positive 2, negative 7. If the signs are not the same, you subtract, then copy the sign of the larger number. 7 minus 2, that's 5. Now, 7 is greater than 2. We have negative 5. Then, plus 5. So, negative 5 plus 5, once again, if the signs are not the same, you subtract 5 minus 5, this will be 0. So, you can cancel this out, and the answer is 0. Alright, but it will be confusing, class. Many of the students, class, they are so confused with this, unlike signs. Adding unlike, in, unlike signs. Adding integers with different signs. So, the thing that you will do, class, for you not to be confused, just arrange, class. Arrange. So, this will be positive 2, comes first, then positive 5. Then negative 7. And it will be really easy class if you arrange. So positive 2, positive 5, then minus 7. So 2 plus 5, that is 7. Minus 7, of course, 7 minus 7, that is 0. So P of 1 is equal to 0. Now, since this is 0, okay, since this is 0, therefore, this x, x minus 1 is a factor of this given polynomial. So that's it. That's easier, right? Four, letter B. Alright, so this is 0. Therefore, this x minus 1 is a factor. Is a factor. Okay, is a factor of this given polynomial class. Of this given 2x cubed minus 7x plus 5. Alright, so easy, right, for the factor theorem? So let's try letter C. So I hope you're still with me, class. Let's try letter C. So, once again, class, do not be worried. We will give more examples. And then later on, if we still have enough time, we will give examples. What if, sir, the divisor is a fraction? So, we will explain that also. We already explained that in the remainder theorem, class. What if your x is a fraction? So, we do have examples for that, class, in the remainder theorem. Go ahead, class. Feel free to see the video. So, we have x minus 2. Once again, equate this one into 0. x minus 2 equals 0. Transpose this negative 2 from left to right to get the value of x. So this will be x equals, this is negative, it will be positive 2. So x equals positive 2. So we transpose, oh, sorry, we equate this one. We substitute this x from this given polynomial. So once again, once you get x, you substitute this x from this given polynomial. So p of x, let me copy the equation class, 2x cubed. Minus 7x plus 5. So P of your x is 2 equals 2. Then x is 2. Substitute 2. Then raise to the power of 3. Minus 7. Your x is 2 plus 5. So P of 2 equals. So once again, do not multiply 2 and 2. Parenthesis exponents comes first. So copy 2. Then 2 raised to the power of 3. What do you mean by 2 raised to the power of 3 class? That's correct. You multiply 2 by itself 3 times. So 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 times 2, that is 8. Alright, and that is 8 minus... Okay, let's just copy class so that we can multiply at once. So you can actually multiply class. That's okay. But I will just simply copy this one so that I can do the multiplication at once. But you can actually multiply class. That will be the same answer. So it's up to you class. But for me, I will just simply copy this one so that we can multiply at once. So this will be 2 times 8. This will be positive 16. Then negative 7 times 2. That's negative 14. Plus 5. So once again, there are some students that they will be confused with this one. Go ahead class, just arrange class. For us not to be confused, arrange class. 16, positive 16. Then positive 5. Then minus 14. You can actually subtract the 16 minus 14, that's 2, plus 5, your answer is 7. But for me, class, I will just simply arrange because there are some students that they will be committing mistakes in this part. Negative 14 plus 5. Because they will think PEMDAS, right? 
PEMDAS, then addition comes first before subtraction. But actually, you can do it both ways. Okay? So, you can do it at the same time. But most of the students, they will follow this one. They add this one first. So, and then they will be committing mistakes. So, the thing that you will do, just simply arrange class. So, we have 16 plus 5. 16 plus 5. Okay? 16 plus 5, that is 21. Minus 14, and that would be 7. 21 minus 14, that is 7. Alright, so P of 2 is equals to 7. But once again, class, you can just simply subtract 16 minus 14, that is 2, plus 5, that is 7. Okay, I just arranged this one plus 4 day for some students, class, because they are so confused with this in teachers. That's it, class. So our answer is positive 7. Now, since this is not 0, Therefore, we do have the remainder, and the remainder class is 7. So, therefore, this x minus 2 is not a factor of this given polynomial since our answer, when we evaluate, the answer is not 0. So, therefore, this x minus 2 is not a factor. So, is not a factor. Alright, so that's it. That's how you solve the factor theorem. So, I hope you learned something new today, class. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Have a great day class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.